I'm Mike Wells of the Indianapolis Star with Bob Kravitz. Bob, 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 where are you? Bob. On the bench. Come on, Bob. It, it, it's a little too late now, but come on, come on back over here. American Airlines Arena. Just like Roy Hibbert, Bob's really not an impact until it's really time to get going. No, no, you're not the impact. You were on the bench like Roy. I was, I was on the bench, you know. I just I just saw no reason to be as a part of this video. Man, tough loss for the Pacers. Paul George stunk up the arena for the first three and a half quarters, tried to bail the Pacers out, but everybody is talking about the last two possessions of this basketball game. What is your take on Frank, Frank Vogel putting the best rim protector in, in the NBA on the bench? I thought it was a massive mistake, you know, and uh, it makes the mistake on that ill-timed timeout uh, seem like small potatoes. I mean, this made no sense in the world. Even Dickie V, who never criticizes anybody, is, is tweeting out in capital letters, how can Roy Hibbert be on the bench in a situation like that? That was the easiest layup of LeBron James' career. I mean, you thought I would have thought Frank would have learned the previous possession when George Hill was isolated like a rookie cornerback trying to guard Randy Moss in his prime by himself with LeBron. LeBron gets to the basket easily with Hibbert on the bench. You would have thought we got to have Roy in the game. But again, 2.2 seconds on the clock. And first it started with Paul George over pursuing the basketball. Absolutely. But the fact that Roy was not able to step over and contest a shot, Vogel's explanation was because of Chris Bosh. Right. I, I'd rather live with a mid-range jump shot than a wide open. I will take Chris Bosh shooting a mid-range jumper with the game on the line any time over, over LeBron. And look, there were only 2.2 seconds left. It wasn't like LeBron had a lot of time to do some creative stuff. You know, he really needed... He, you know, and Paul George did make a mistake. He admitted after the game that he slipped up badly. But I, I place this one on Frank Vogel. I, I like the guy, and I think he's a terrific young head coach. He's going to do great things in this league, but this was not a good one. Now, biggest question right now, you got to put this behind you. Do you think the Patriots can bounce back and win game two here in Miami on Friday night? I do not. I think this was their, their best chance to steal one in Miami. I think it's going to be a real tough bounce back. This is a very mentally tough, resilient team. But I look, Miami Heat did not play well except for LeBron and Birdman, and they still got the victory. So I think this is a devastating, devastating loss. So in other words, the Patriots are going to win game two because we all know we were all the right. opposite happens when Bob Kravitz says something. We'll find out Friday night here at American Airlines Arena. We are at Tommy Bahama, Bob Kravitz. I'm Mike Wells, and we'll see you Friday. Nice threads.